How awesome can that be? That you and I can operate perfectly as Christ operated. We can live an abundant life such as Jesus lived while he was on earth. We are 100% like Jesus. From the very moment we accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, Glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Congratulations to everyone watching us home and abroad. We want to celebrate, we want to give thanks and praise to God for yet another year of glory. Powerhouse Ministries Convention 2024. All glory, all praise to God, the living and the God that has kept us alive and has given us the capacity to be here at such a time as this. I rejoice with every one of you and I celebrate because I know something beautiful, something powerful is just about to take place in our lives. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to Jesus. Once again, I want to announce, and this is something that should never, ever depart from your lips, that this is the beginning of years, the beginning of months for Powerhouse Ministries as we celebrate our annual convention 2024. God told us it shall be our year of His fullness, a year of His fullness, oh glory. That is the password for the new year we are stepping into, the year of His fullness, the year of His fullness. Hallelujah. Can we begin with prayer? Father, we thank you tonight. We give you praise. We honor you. We thank you because your word enters now. Your glory rolls in now. Your presence and the supernatural begins now. In the name of Jesus, I suspend all activities of hell. I disrupt all the oppressions of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I declare, O oh God, that the door of revelation be open to us. And you cause us to know, to understand, to comprehend, and to see the light and the word in your word. And you cause us to really understand, to come to the full stature of Christ. Tonight, great things will happen in righteousness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, we're taking our text from the book of John, chapter 1, verse 16. John, chapter 1, verse 16. And this is John, the revelator, giving account of the Son of God, Jesus the Christ. And he reads, John the Baptist bared witness and cried, saying, This was he of whom I speak. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. For out of his fullness, the superabundance of his grace and truth, we have all received grace upon grace, spiritual blessings upon spiritual blessings, favor upon favor, and gift heaped upon gift. Hallelujah. This is Amplified Translation, and it helped us to be able to understand that the spiritual blessings have been heaped upon spiritual blessings. The favor of God is being heaped upon favor and the gifts of the Spirit is being heaped upon gifts. Hallelujah. So in His presence, in His fullness, we have received grace for grace. We are in His fullness, brothers and sisters. If any man be in Christ, is a new creation. The old is past and the new is come. Everyone that is born of God, we are already positionally, we are already in the God mode. We are in the God class. Everything that makes God, God is now present with us individually. We are no longer alone. We belong to God. We are in the God class. We are a representative of God. We are ambassadors of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when we enter into salvation, we enter into the fullness of God from day one. 
Hallelujah. From day one, we become co-creator like God, the Father. And that exactly was what is being mirrored by the book of John chapter 1, when John began to explain and make us understand that from Jesus' fullness, we have received grace for grace. He is full, he is complete. And like the book of Colossians chapter 2, Colossians chapter 2 says to us, verse 10, an amplified version is properly rendered. He said, and you are in him, you and I are in Christ Jesus, made full, having come to the fullness of life. Hallelujah. We have come to the fullness of life. In Christ, you too are filled with Godhead, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost and reach full spiritual stature. You and I, coming to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, we reach automatically from the one, we reach the full stature of Christ. We are complete in him. We are perfected in him. And the word says, um, and he is the head of all the rules, the authority, of every angelic principal, principality and powers. How awesome can that be? That you and I can operate perfectly as Christ operated. We can live an abundant life such as Jesus lived while he was on earth. We are 100% like Jesus. From the very moment we accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. And that was what the prophet saw. Prophet Habakkuk, in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 14, he saw it ahead of time and he told us, the earth, this earth, the body that you and I have, the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. Hallelujah. This earth, your body, my body, being the temple of the Holy Ghost shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. I am full of God. You are full of God. The fullness of God is in us bodily. Hallelujah. So we can do what God can do. All that the Father is, he gave to Jesus Christ. And all that Jesus is, he gave to us. That's why Colossians says we are complete in him. He is the head over all principalities and powers. We are not equal to demons. We are superior. Our position is higher than all of them put together. Psalms chapter 8 verses 1, 2, 3 down to 6 says, the angels, the demons, all of them, there was a, a, a meeting held in the spirit. And the angels began to ask the question, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you visited them? You made them a little lower than the angels. You crowned them with glory and honor and put all the work of your hands under him. What is man? Hallelujah. Our position is enviable. We have been redeemed to reign. Hallelujah. This is our new nature. We shall reign in life by Christ Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. This is the message that you need to hear and to understand so that your capacity to live the full life of God will come to pass. You'll be able to live as God intends us to live. When you look at the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus Christ giving us a clear information about the enemy. And he was also making us know his mission on earth. He says to us, the thief comes only but to steal, to kill and to destroy. But amplified version renders it. He says, I came that you may have and enjoy life that you and I will have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to, be, to, uh, to the full till it overflows. Hallelujah. We will have 
and enjoy life so it's full until it overflows you and i what we have is not a natural life we have within us an abundant life and that's exactly from his fullness from the fullness of the lord jesus christ he bequeathed to us abundance life abundant life so that we can live through him and live to the full a full life a life that is to an overflow hallelujah thank you jesus i have the life of christ my life is full to an overflow i must enjoy life as he prescribed whatever is resistance to me and you living a full life is an enemy it is an enemy and these enemies begins with the concept we have our lives are not limited lives we have eternal life we have the full life of god god's intention is that we enjoy that life we enjoy it to the full and to an overflow it is my prayer and declaration over you and I today that from this day onwards, you shall begin to live a full life that God wanted you to live. The abundant life of God will begin to manifest in all facets of your being. In the name of Jesus, you will live to an overflow. You will not be cut short. You will not be subchanged in the name of Jesus Christ. Your life will be full. Your life will be lived in completion according to all that he has done on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And when we look at the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 5, the Bible says, a wise man is strong. He says, yea, a man of knowledge increased in strength. So this knowledge of the kind of life we have been given, the knowledge, the understanding of this life gives you strength. It gives you capacity to truly live and live above corruption. It gives you ability to reign in life. In the face of opposition, in the face of contradictions of life, you are able by faith to live above molestation to live above terror, above demonic entities. You live and reign on behalf of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. What a knowledge. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 11, verse 9, it says, through knowledge shall the righteous or the just man be delivered. So without knowledge, there is no deliverance. With knowledge comes power. With knowledge comes strength. With knowledge comes deliverance. Deliverance comes to you based on the knowledge you acquire, the knowledge of your sonship, the knowledge of your position in him. Remember, we are complete in him. As Jesus Christ could not be molested by territorial spirit, he ruled and reigned over them all of the time. We are equally, we have been empowered to rule and reign over territorial demonic entities, over principal powers, over all authorities, all might, all dominion. We are complete in him. We are perfected in him. So in him, we are, you and I, we are complete. So this knowledge is too great. It cannot be underestimated what you can do when you come to knowledge. Hallelujah. And remember that you and I, we have come to the full stature of Christ already by being born again from the day one. Hallelujah. Oh, Second Peter says something that is so profound. Second Peter chapter one, verses two and three. And Peter said to us, said grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Through knowledge, grace gets multiplied. Peace gets multiplied. Because you are in the know. The word says in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. If you lack knowledge, you definitely will be manipulated. The enemy seeks to deceive. 
His greatest weapon is deception. His greatest activity and mission is to get you to believe that he does not exist. He is to deceive and distract so he can destroy. But where knowledge comes alive, that's why the word says in Psalm 119, verse 89, Forever, O God, your word is settled in heaven. In 130, Psalm 119, verse 130, it says, The entrance of your word, O God, the appearance of your word, O God, the opening of your word, O God, the revelation of your word brings light and understanding to them that are simple. When the word is open, life is open. When the word opens up into your spirit and understanding comes, dominion comes. Hallelujah. So we must attend to the word. We must incline our ears to the same. We must desire with passion to grow in knowledge, in knowledge of God, so we can maximize his fullness that we have received. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the word says, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him who has called us to glory and to virtue. Can you see that? According, in order, we must understand that his divine power the supernatural power, the same power that raised the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, according as that power has given to us, we have been given a supernatural power. We have been given authority to reign in life. His divine power has been given to us. He said, according as his divine power is been given Had given us through his divine power, we have been given everything that pertains to life. Everything is everything. Nothing is left out. Everything that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to glory and to virtue. Remember, I said, this act, your body and my body, this act shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. This act is getting filled with knowledge. Your body, say that to yourself, your body, this temple of yours is being filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. This body that you carry, this body that I carry, that's why we can instruct our bodies. We can instruct the water system. We can speak to our mind. We can speak to our bones. We can speak to any disease and any sickness knocking in any aspect of the body. He said, until say, this earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. Your body shall be filled. Even as I speak right now, wherever you are all over the world, let this Earth that you carry be filled right now with the light of heaven, with the light of revelation, with the light of his power, with the glory that comes by the word, and as the waters cover the seas. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, let anything that is associated with darkness, let everything that symbolizes demonic network or demonic activity anything that represents premature death, anything that represents curses or invocation or spells of any kind, by the authority and the power of the word that I preach to you tonight, I declare that sorcery suspended. I declare that witchcraft lifted. I declare that attack totally revoked. I command now, be delivered, be set free, be released, be loosed, in the name of Jesus Christ, tonight be healed as I speak to you. Let the word enter into that earth and let it be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as the waters cover the seas. Understand what I say to you. Ezekiel chapter number 2. I want you to understand the operations of the spirit. Ezekiel chapter 2, beginning from verse 1 to 2. 
He said, then he said to me, son of man, stand on your feet and I will speak to you. It's an instruction from God himself. Stand on your feet and I will speak to you. Now watch the way it all was acted out. In verse 2, he said, Then as he spake to me, the Spirit enters me. In my translation here, I prefer a version. The Spirit was written in S, capital S, which means the Holy Ghost. Referring to the Holy Ghost, the third person in the Trinity. He said, The Spirit entered me and set me on my feet. Remember, it came like a word. So you are hearing something just like a mere word, but these words are not mere words. They are supernatural words. They are Holy Ghost provoked words. And as I speak to you now, let the word as it happened those days, the word set him up on his feet and I heard them who speaks to me. Hallelujah. So the word enters and the spirit lifted them up. Hallelujah. As the word of God enters you now, may the spirit of the word lift you up on your feet, lift you up from your infirmity. May the spirit of the word lift you up from that affliction. May the spirit of the word raise you up from every deadness. May the spirit of the word destroy the yoke of poverty. May the spirit of the word enter into your bones into your water system, to the world, to the blood flow, may the spirit of the world enter and make every adjustment needed for your deliverance, for your total, the full life that God procured for you and myself. Now, let it occur in the name of Jesus Christ and so shall it be. So as I heard them speak, the spirit entered me. And it caused me to stand upon my feet. The ability, the wherewithal, the capacity, the enablement was supplied by the spirit of grace. So I was able to stand upon my feet. I say to you tonight, whatever you couldn't do by yourself, all that is looking difficult and impossible in your life, all the dreams and the goals and the, and, the, and, the, and the expectations that seems to be far-fetched, I speak to those dreams now. I speak to those desires. I speak to that particular vision. I command, come alive. In the name of Jesus, Satan, I rebuke you. Take your hands off, God's dear children. I command now, let the spirit of truth enter into the situation and make adjustment as I speak in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All glory to Jesus. The power of God goes where the word of God goes. Because the Lord is the same spirit. And wherever the spirit of the Lord God is, there is liberty. There is liberty. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17. The Lord is the same spirit. As I speak, the word comes, it comes empowered by the spirit to make sure there is a performance in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is awesome truth. And as I bring the message to a close tonight, I want you to understand one thing must be in our heart, a reckless appetite for God, the desire to know him, the passion to crave after the things of the spirit. This is a natural requirement for this manifestation. You have to be desperately in search for God. You got to seek him intentionally, periodically, every day. You have to determine within your heart to fellowship on a regular basis with the word of God, in prayer and in worship. This automatically graduates you from a natural point of view into a supernatural realm whereby you live the life of heaven on earth. Hallelujah. It is possible. Jesus lived on earth 100% God and 100% a man. You and I can do the same. 
because the God who lives, who created all things, now endures us. When we go back a little bit and we look at the book of Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 down to 28, the Bible says he created man in his image and in the image of him created he the male, he created he them, male and female. And he called them, he blessed them and says to them, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, hallelujah. Have dominion over the fishes of the sea and over everything that creepeth on the earth. We have dominion over them. Originally in his image we were made. Originally we are like gods to every other creature. Originally we should function like God because God dwells in us. And now the first Adam destroyed that capacity betrayed creation, betrayed God, and then handed us over to the enemy. But the second and the last Adam, the man Jesus Christ, the righteous one, came and restored all that was lost to back to us. We have been brought back to dignity. We have been bought back. We have been fully redeemed. The price has been fully paid. Everything has been realigned to the original status. Hallelujah. So right now, we are in the image and in the likeness of God. We are complete in him. We have the full life of God. We should function completely like God. Jesus Christ was the head. He is the head of all principalities and powers. He bequeathed the authority to us. We are now with him complete, absolutely perfected in him. We are co-heads over principalities and powers. All of them, the demonic structures, they are down under us. We have power with God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to Jesus. So finally, this scripture is so vital. In Daniel 11 verse 32, I, I like the B part. It said, uh, from A, it said, And they that do wickedly against his covenant, he will corrupt with his flatteries. But those who do know their God, they will be strong and they shall do exploit. Strength to you today. Deliverance to you today. Strength to the body of Christ today. I proclaim and announce the divine strength of God coming upon your life afresh in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you quickly because the power of God is in that very living room where you're watching this piece. I decree and declare that every contradiction in your life, every manipulation that is happening now in your situation, every conjurement and every projection of darkness over your soul, I declare that aborted now. I pray for peace. I declare abundant life. I pronounce upon you the life of God that is to the full, to an overflow, coming into wherever you are now. Sleep in peace and experience the supernatural, beginning from this time onwards, in the glorious name of Jesus. Shalom, shalom, until I come your way again tomorrow. I want you to be at peace and celebrate the full life of God. Amen. Hallelujah.